Hi guys, hope you've had a blessed week. I just thought I'd do a quick video doing some reviews on some body lotions and hand lotions that I've enjoyed recently and showing you the difference in consistencies of several different brands. So here we go. Guys, I want to show you today the consistency of several different body lotions that I've tried. Uh, this one was recommended to me most recently, Burt's Bees. It's called Radiance Body Lotion with natural mica to enhance skin tone, it says on there. It gives a little bit of sheen to the skin. Several people on YouTube have recommended this, so I went and purchased it. And I just wanted to demonstrate to you, I hope that we'll be able to get this on camera, the consistency of this. In fact, when I shake it, you can hear a liquid. Now, if somebody has tried this and they have a different result, I wish you'd let me know. Maybe I got a bad tube or something, but it's very liquidy. See it dripping? Now, I love the sheen that it leaves on the skin, but it is so thin that I'm not enjoying that very much. I guess uh, at my age I like a thicker consistency lotion than that. Not something greasy, but just not something that drops out like a liquid. Compared to, uh, oh, the Burt's Bees I found at Whole Foods, and while I was in Whole Foods, I also, that was $9, I also picked up a tube of Watkins Shea Butter Body Cream, and I will show you the consistency to contrast those two. I can hold it up, and it comes out like toothpaste. I don't know if you can see that. It's coming out the bottom. Oh, let me get this in the screen. The bottom of the tube. And it's a thick cream. I don't think it would ever drop from the bottle. Whoops. 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 It's not greasy. You don't need as much. It's also, I also paid $9 for that, and that's 3.3 ounces. The Burt's Bees is 6 ounces. Watkins also made, I was just trying to find a lotion that I really liked. They make a bottle, it's 11 ounce, it's an actual lotion. This one's called Shea Butter Body Cream, so it's thicker. Like I said, it comes out like toothpaste almost. The lotion still isn't going to drip like that Burt's Bees, but if you squeeze the bottle, you get a drop out, consistency like that. This is more of what I would call a regular consistency like a Jergens hand lotion or smells divine. This one is lemon cream, smells like a mm, lemon pound cake or something. It also comes in lavender and mango, uh, green tea, and I'm not sure about the others. But all of these Watkins Frank, uh, lotions you can get in both types, either the shea butter or the lotion. Uh, I think Walgreens also carries those. Um, this is the same as the... Shea Butter Body Cream, but this one is vanilla. This is awesome. I love that. If you like vanilla, you would love that. Um, this is this one's called Pink Sugar Body Mousse. This was a... Now, I, I won't be able to get this one open there because of my hands. This... No, yeah, there we go. This was a very generous sample from Sephora called it's Pink Sugar Body Mousse. It smells like cotton candy. It's like a whipped mousse, just like the name describes. It's a lotion, probably the consistency of this Watkins hand and body lotion, only it's in a whipped form. I have the softest hands around when this video is over. Then many of you are familiar with um, Yes to Carrots. Yes to Carrots makes a body butter. 
it's not a whipped consistent consistency like the pink sugar, but it comes in a not. You can see the thickness there. A little bit thicker than this body lotion here, but not as thick as the shea butter. I'm just gonna wipe that. Then yes to carrots. Of course, if you know the yes to carrots line, there's yes to cucumbers, yes to tomatoes. There's a new line, yes to blueberries, but I haven't tried that yet. This is yes to carrots hand and elbow moisturizing cream. I think the body butter is about between ten and thirteen dollars, and I think this is about ten dollars the hand and elbow. Uh, this is the consistency for this one. The only thing I don't like about the Yes to Carrots, people may disagree because we all like, our tastes are so individual, but the Yes to Carrots has a very, uh, a fragrance that's just not appealing to me. Uh, I guess because I, I enjoy the lemon and the vanilla, even the cotton candy is good. Uh, but I wanted to tell you about a new one. I'm always looking for a great hand lotion. Comes in, get this. I saw this at Target. I actually read a review in a beauty magazine on this, and I went by Target. And it comes in a brown. This is eco-friendly box, brown cardboard box. And then it comes in a tube. It comes out. And they say that they're trying to get away from plastic packaging, so it's a metal tube, squeeze tube. This is. 8 ounces and it was $9. So you can see $9 for 8 ounces versus $9 for 3.3 of the Watkins that I got at Whole Foods. But anyway, this one is by a company called One. And I don't know if all the Targets carry this brand. It was a national magazine in style or something. So I would assume it's um, Can't get the lid off. Let me pause this. Okay, here we go. This is the uh, vanilla almond custard. And this is the consistency of this. This is much, much like the shea butter. When you go to rub it in the skin, though, it's not as thick as the shea butter. It's uh, a very nice consistency, sort of a cross between the shea butter and the body lotion. But this is, like I said, vanilla almond custard. Love the packaging, unique. Um, but they had a fragrance, I meant to write these down. One, They must have four or five different fragrances. One's called Heavenly, uh, one is called something like Movie Star Skin. And I forget what the other two were, but if you're interested, you might check that out at Target. I really, I've only had that one for a few days, but I think I'm going to like it a lot. So, anyway, that's my little review on body creams. Hope you enjoy. Talk to you later. Bye.